Hey, thanks for joining me on another WP Crafter video. And in this video, I'm going to show you something that is typically technical and a little challenging and not newbie friendly at all but I'm gonna make it newbie friendly and easy for you now I got a uh, request from one of the viewers of this YouTube channel asking me about how to get a feature added back into their e-commerce their WooCommerce based website that WooCommerce decided to remove and it was more specifically uh, the additional shipping options in the shopping cart and so I did a little googling for her and the solution is to add a custom function so I thought this would be the perfect video for anyone that needs to add a custom function that they found somewhere on the web but they just don't know how to do it okay so that's what we're gonna do in this video so anyways this is the site that I found on uh, or the page I found on WordPress's website about the custom function it's right here so uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm not gonna copy and paste it I'm gonna go here and jump into one of my WordPress installations and we're gonna add a plugin now you don't necessarily need a plugin at all to add a custom function uh, but there is a plugin that makes it a lot easier for you. The other option is to uh, directly get into the theme template files. Okay, so that's a little technical mumbo jumbo, and most people would be afraid to mess something up. So you probably don't want to go that route. And also, if you add it to a themes file, what happens if you change themes? You would lose all your custom functions. You'll have to go in and retrieve them and migrate them. So there is a plugin based solution that makes it real easy. So when you log into WordPress, go to plugins and then click on add new. And we're going to do a quick search for custom functions. custom functions just go ahead and hit enter and uh, this is the plugin right here it's called my custom functions I guess you could have just searched for my custom functions and uh, go ahead and click on install it's a very lightweight plugin and then we're going to go ahead and activate the plugin all right so if you scroll down here to my custom functions you can click on settings and it will take you right into the plugin or you can find it by going underneath appearance and then where it says custom functions and it says right here enter your custom functions here so now let's go back into that page that I found this custom function that can be added and it's right here I'm gonna go ahead and highlight and I'm gonna copy the function uh, just putting it in my clipboard you can right click and copy it or however you like to put text in a clipboard I'm gonna go back here I'm gonna click into the section where I can enter it and I'm gonna go to a new line and then I'm just gonna paste it in and then put a new line right there so uh, what you do is you just go ahead and copy and paste your function in there and then click this button right here on the right that says update custom functions now what I like about this plugin is well you can see right here it says custom function updated successfully the scary part about custom functions is if there is anything wrong with how it's entered in like say right here you've got this this uh, semicolon in this bracket if any little thing is missing it's going to take your whole site down it doesn't break the entire site like there's some devastating damage done but you have to get in and remove that custom function uh, or fix it um, in order for your site to come back up so that is one of the scary spots however with this plugin if you enter in an error so say I get rid of this semicolon which is not it's it's improper and um, go ahead and click on update custom functions now normally this would crash your entire site but check this out it gives you a nice little warning it says sorry but your custom code code caused a fatal error so it's not applied please check the code and try again so if we were just adding that into the theme files directly 
there was there's no checking to make sure that you entered it right and it would have taken down the entire website but what this plugin does is it's it checks to see if you screwed something up and if it did it won't apply the custom function and it gives you this warning so let me put my semicolon back and then click on update custom functions and there we are we're safe again now the manual way of adding a custom function let me just show you I probably should have showed you in the beginning of the video just go to appearance and underneath that editor now some themes disable access to the editor because they don't want you to mess something up okay so here I am and I'm using a child theme right here and it says theme functions I can click on this file right here theme functions and I could add it so here is some custom functions that are already added in. But like I said, it's better to do it this plugin way because number one, it's going to check if you entered it wrong, entered it in wrong, and save you. If I would have pasted it in here wrong, everything would have wiped, been wiped out and you would have had to access your site via FTP, which is very technical. Okay, so that's benefit number one, but benefit number two is your custom functions will go with you. So if I change this theme to a different theme, uh, my custom functions would follow me. So anyways, that is uh, custom functions, a real easy way for you to add custom functions to your WordPress website in a very safe, newbie friendly manner. Hey, we'd appreciate it if you took a moment to click on the thumbs up button and to share this video with your friends. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and take a moment to go over to our website, leave us a comment, ask us a question, but sign up for our newsletter. Thanks again for watching this video and make sure you connect with us on these social networks.